Let me turn this around so I can actually see. There we go. Now my screen is facing me. <laughs> I have two umbrellas here, and I'm going to attempt a self-portrait, and I'm going to use my D750 here because I've got the remote trigger that's sitting up there, and I can fire, I can take a picture from here, and I'm going for a certain look. There we go. I took a couple of test photos last night just to have a little bit of fun. And again, this is just for a simple self-portrait. Right now I have two speed lights set up, plus my video lights behind that, which is what you can see glowing inside of the umbrellas. But that's not the look I'm going for. What I'm looking for is a very directional back camera flash, which only illuminates my face. That's going to be a little bit hard because I have this shiny wall behind me in this big studio. It's a home studio. We all call them home studios, but you know what? It's a bedroom in, in, your, in your place and whatever you're going to use. I'm going to try a couple of different ways of achieving that, but it's a look that I'm, I'm going for a certain look where it's just my face, not too many hard shadows. I'm not going to use a bounce board to shoot, to shoot some uh, light up from the bottom. I can. And if I don't get exactly what I'm looking for, I have a couple of other light modifiers that I can use because I'm going with a direct flash. I can use this little sock and then to make the light more directional this is the box off of my my cell phone that's it the, the, the cell phone box is, will slide right over my light and with this to hold it in place it'll make that light really really directional i'll turn it down and uh let's see what we get let's just start first let me move some of these things out of the way and we'll get started always helps take the cap off I'm going to take my f-stop down just a little bit so that I I don't I want to be able to see the ears too uh, you know I want everything to be in focus maybe an f4 and f5 let's see what we come up with and because it, there's going to be a flash I'm going to keep my shutter speed at about 200 and my ISO down to 100 which is the native on the, the 750 and this delayed remote we'll go quick response remote for this one Okay. Just a, this is just going to be a simple self-portrait with the side lights on. If you look right here, you can see that it's way blown out from that side, which if you're going for high key is going to be fine. That's not the look that I'm going for. That's not what I want at all. I'm going to lower this down and get a really nice even shot because right now I have it on one fourth power. I took it down to one thirty second and I don't have my light modifiers up here. So for this, let's take one more shot and see what we come up with. Remember the lights coming in brighter from this side. Well, that might be more what I'm looking for, but I don't want the shadow, I can get rid of all that, I can crop in, and it'll actually be a decent shot. But still, that's not the look I'm going for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset up now. Sorry, I'm way too close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set everything back up so that I've got just the one light look that I'm going for. Let's set it up. start at 164 and see if this gives me the look that I'm going for and I'm not sure if I should be on that side or this side I just have to work it until I find it that I'm gonna have natural light coming in from this side I won't but let's see what I get going for a delayed remote one harsh speed light directly at my face and I'm looking directly into this camera let's see what that looks like I'm getting closer. I have... I need my light here. Since I'm not getting the look I want. And I need to increase my power. Since I don't have a grid system to get the exact look that I'm going for, what I'm going to try and do is I've gotten closer with the look that I want, but I still have background in there. And that is not what I want. Part of that is because I'm shooting into a, an extremely shiny, bright white wall. So I've got this little tiny modifier but 
looks like a little bitty sock. And then over the top of that, to make this light really, really directional, I've got this. <laughs> and if you can't see it, like I said, this is just the top off of one of my old camera boxes. To make the light extremely directional. Now it's only going to go that way. We'll adjust for the power and we'll play with it until I get exactly what I want. Give everything a quick test. Perfect. Make sure it is hitting where I want it to be. I'm going to stand right here where I was before. Got to come up with some kind of cool, serious looking pose, right? Let's see. Coming this way, so I want it this way and this way. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. A little bit too moody and dark. Let's increase the power. And then I think I've got what I want. Facing this way, looking that way. And with that last shot, I think I have what I'm looking for for today. That's it, man. I want to say thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, one thing that you should always make sure you have is backups, backups of everything. If you're doing it for a client out, if you're not doing it for yourself, it doesn't matter. You can do it all day long to get kind of a look that you're going for to have some fun and do what you want to do. In this case, I had to change batteries a couple of times. This one quit working. Then I couldn't get them to sync. I had to change all the settings. So always have backups of, of stuff if you're doing it out for a client so that you can quickly switch and just continue to roll. That's it, man. I want to say thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a fantastic day. Please hit that subscribe button, share it with somebody, and I hope that you got at least something out of it. It's nothing more than just playing with lights and shadows, lights and shadows to get a look that you want. If you're doing it for a client, you're going to have to get the look that they want. But if you're doing it for somebody, just remember, it's your artwork. If you're paying, if you're being paid for them for the magazine, you're going to do it exactly the way they want to do. But you also will develop your own style, your own look. Thank you again. Have a fantastic day and I will see you. I'm walking out in the sunset this way. Set really, really low just to bring out uh, just to to eliminate some of the shadows on this side of my face. And if you're hearing bad audio, I'm recording it on this really cheap little little thing as a quick backup instead of hooking the mic into my phone because my Zoom that I used for a long time just finally died. Don't know why, it just did. So I have backup audio on the camera. If it sounds like crap, that's why. Because I used that one and this one didn't work.